Hey everyone, Stacy Wallace here with Warrior DNA. I'm excited to be here with you on this Sunday Live at 5. We've had an incredible week and I've looked forward to being able to share this topic with you all week long because I truly believe it is going to help you, help your team, help your business, help your family, and really give you the perspective you need in order to build that empire that you're dreaming about, whether it's an empire out of a home-based business or an empire of a corporation that you're building or working with, or whether you're just trying to build your social media uh, numbers and your friends and your likes. Everyone that's watching this right now, you have something that you want that you're striving to get. And today we're gonna to talk about what does it take in order to build that empire. We're gonna talk about insane perseverance, passion, and productivity. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the path from going from an idea or a concept to that place of execution and tipping point. Now there's so many great books out there that I know you guys are watching and, and reading and listening to through Audibles. But I want to talk to you today just about a really simple topic that I think is going to inspire you. And here's what I want you to do is make sure that you're liking this and sharing it. You guys know that I love connecting with you. I love your comments. I always tap back feedback to you on your comments. I do that myself, I'm not jobbing that out to somebody. So make sure that we're commenting and connecting. And then what I'm going to do is the people that are commenting, I'm going to be picking some folks and we're going to send you some free uh, songs. We're going to send you some free training. So uh, this week we'll start that. And if you have to be giving comments, so just make sure you're liking it. And I want to make sure that you're listening because this is going to be valuable in sharing with your team. Now you guys know every eight eight, about eight o'clock every morning, we do a family devotion and we always utilize topics like this in our family devotion and we bring about not just a worldview but a biblical worldview to help our family recognize you're gonna have a choice every day to make. You guys see my post says warrior is a choice because you're gonna have a choice to make every single day whether you're going to coward out to the voices in your head that tell you to quit, tell you to give up or whether you're gonna champion up and become the leader you were destined to be, to put forth the effort that it's gonna take for you to create the productivity that you're dreaming about. Now today, I actually made some notes. You guys usually know I just fly off whatever's in my head. <laughs> but today I actually wrote down some quotes that I wanna share with you that I think are really inspirational. Now this week, at the beginning of last week, I got a video from our president of our company, ACN, Greg Provenzano, and he sent it out to some of the leaders. And it was a video that, it was so great. It was some archaic, videos from like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and others. But what the video was saying was so powerful that I said, I have got to use that in a warrior DNA. Basically what it was talking about is having ridiculous courage, ridiculous passion, insane perseverance. Now what does that mean? What does it mean to have insane perseverance, passion, and productivity? It means that you have an idea that for whatever reason, you believe in it more than anybody else does. Maybe the statistics or the results or circumstances say you should quit, but because you are so insanely or ridiculously committed to that vision, nothing can stop you. Well, Bill Gates was saying that that's really the secret to his success because if in fact you have a dream or you have an idea, chances are you are going to fail. And, and, and it's not if, you fail, it's when you fail. And then the question is, will you, how will you respond to failure? You know, it wasn't very long ago, we had a, a, an unfortunate closing of a company that we were heavily invested in, millions of dollars lost. And interestingly enough, when we got back up, because what do leaders do? They might fall seven times, but they get back up eight, right? So whether you're Warren Buffett or Bill Gates or Jim Carrey or Oprah Winfrey, it doesn't matter who you are, You've got to have the power of the bounce back of having insane perseverance, passion, and productivity. Well, this person said to me, why do you keep going? I mean, why, why would, I don't understand. Why would you have so many businesses and, and, and throughout your course of your life? Well, many of those businesses did very well. Some that we started in the game room of my brother's house went to a billion dollar market cap. Some went to hundreds of millions and some were dismal failures. But here's the thing, is you have got to have a spirit inside of you that says, I will never, never, never give up. You've got to believe in what you're doing. This is another thing that was in that video. 
that if you don't absolutely love what you're doing, if you don't have a passion for it, it's not, will you quit? You will quit. And that's what some of the quotes that I'm going to read you, you're going to see. What they were saying was, let me just give you an example. Steve Jobs said, people say that I have, that they have, you have to have a lot of passion for what you do. And it's true because it's just so hard to succeed on the level, example, that he's succeeding in. If you don't have a radical perspective, a radical passion for what you're involved in, then you will give up. So if you don't love it, guess what? You're going to quit a lot sooner than if you actually found something that you're passionate about, something that's fun to you. Here's another one. Um, Elon Musk was interviewed by 60 Minutes, and uh, it was really powerful because they said, so Elon, you've had three failures in a row. Did it ever cross your mind that, you know, I should just pack it in? I've tried, you know, clearly this isn't working for me. Elon Musk said, no, I don't ever give up. In fact, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Think about it. Because I know a lot of people right now, you're out there and you're thinking, is this really working for me? Is it really worth it? Is my time investment worth it? A am I even going to succeed at this? And here is the difference between you and uber successful leaders. The only difference is persever perseverance, passion that leads to productivity. Watch this. He said, Warren Buffett, if you think more zeros are going to make you happier at life, well, it won't. You need to find something that you enjoy, something that you believe in. You'll get in trouble if you think that making 10x or 20x is really the answer to your problems. What happens when you think that way, eventually you're probably going to invest in something you shouldn't, or you're going to cut corners, or worse yet, quit. It gets better. There's more. Let's see if you can figure out who these quotes are from. He was booed off the stage when he first did his first stand-up. He dropped out of high school and took a job at 15 as a janitor. One day, he was so miserably upset, he had to make the decision. Do I give up on my dreams or do I believe it? He wrote himself a $10 million check, believing that one day that would be his worth. Who is that? Who is Jim Carrey, right? Again, an opportunity to give up because of failure or use failure as that momentum pusher, as that, that tension that gives him the opportunity to have the projection that he needs in order to be truly successful. Here we go. She was dropped from three labels and her first CD only sold 200. Know who that was? Katy Perry. Watch this. She lived in extreme poverty, was sexually abused from the age of nine, and lived for, uh, was fired from her first job being told that she was unfit for TV. Who is Oprah Winfrey? It gets better. <laughs> he was rejected 30 times from his first book and then just threw it in the trash because he became so depressed, so upset, he threw it in his trash. His wife found it. Who is Stephen King? Listen to this. At 62 years of age, he was completely broke and only had his $105 Social Security check, was rejected by 1,009 restaurants. Who is Colonel Sanders? Teachers said he was stupid to learn. He failed over and over 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. Who is Thomas Edison? He was fired for a lack of imagination he, because they said, you have no good ideas. His first business went bankrupt, but today we know him as Walt Disney. Now, what is my point to all of this? Some of you right now are feeling like I am in a place. I mean, I could sit here and talk to you all day long about recruiting. I could talk to you all day long about how to fix your sales funnel. I could talk to you about online marketing strategies. We could sit here and talk about speed and accuracy as it relates to your delivery. But if you don't have the mindset, if you don't have the heartbeat for what you're doing, if you don't believe with absolute insane passion that what you're doing is the right thing, guess what? You are going to quit. Somebody will talk you out of that dream. You know, I work with a company called ACN, and this company markets essential services like mobile phone service and uh, energy, electric, dish, direct TV, things that people use every single day. And I love it. And God has blessed me tremendously 
in that business. And we've got a, a network in 25 countries. But it doesn't matter who you are or how successful you are if you do not have a heart link to that company, a heart link to your business, the voices will come and you'll be like, what am I? I mean, am I really supposed to be here? Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? You'll even question your products, your services. And that is why it is important for you to have a link to your company. For us, every time we bring on a customer, we feed a child in need. Last year, our goal was 1.5 million kids fed. That We hit 1.7 million. That allows me as a woman of God, as a warrior with the DNA that I want to make life better for many, that gives me a perseverance module that gives me passion to do what I do every single day. And it increases my productivity. Now, why is that? You've got to have those three things. Perseverance, passion for what you're doing, so it leads to productivity. And here's why. Look at this. Oh, where'd my pen go? Okay, here it is. The 3.8% factor is this. Those who become successful fail on average at least 3.8%. And that is an epic fail. Not like, oh, I tried it for a week and it didn't work out for me. I'm talking about epic failure with true commitment, money invested. And that's why so many people are like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can invest money. We're talking, when we're talking about Bill Gates and we're talking about Warren Buffett and we're talking about guys that are investing on the millions and billions of dollars, they're looking at it on a whole different level of risk. They're not looking at a small investment. For those of you who are looking to start in your own business, it's a small investment you make if we're talking about a home-based business. But you've got to have the same level of perseverance, passion, and productivity that you would if you did invest $1.2 million or you did invest. The average business is right now about $65,000 in a traditional business model. 95% of them fail. And of those 5% that do succeed, it takes them about three to five years to ever get back to even. So when somebody's trying to engage you in a home-based business to help you create residual income or another stream of income and you say, oh, well, I don't know if I can do that or I don't know if I want to invest that, you've got to rethink. You've got to start here before you ever try to figure out the system. You've got to have the mindset. The 3.8% factor means that maybe you failed in the past and that's what's keeping you from getting engaged again. Maybe you've been a part of a company that failed. Maybe you were a product company that went under. Maybe you were in partnership with somebody who was just a scoundrel. But you know what? Don't let your history keep you from your destiny. Your history may actually be a setup for your best days. And I believe this. Here's where we start. When you start an idea, a concept, a business, you start here. And here's what your vision is. I want to go from here. And maybe this is I get started with a small investment. And I want to go here, and let's just hypothetically say you want to be making $10,000 a month, right? So you're wanting to make $10,000, maybe $20,000, maybe it's a hundred, whatever it is for you. But you look at that, and that's your vision. I want to get from here to there. And you see people like myself and others in the industry who are making huge six, seven-figure incomes, and you're thinking, oh, I just want to go there. Everybody wants success. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is willing to pay the price of success. Very few people would have the passion, perseverance, or productivity like a Bill Gates, like a Warren Buffett, to risk on the level they risk. If you want to have high reward, you're probably going to have high risk, and you're going to have to have extreme output. Think about Mark Zuckerberg. I love the way people love the thought. I mean, I would love to be that guy that comes up with that idea. Do you think he sleeps often? Do you think he goes days and days and days and just says, you know, I'm just going to just going to coast and see what happens. No, it's day in, day out. Big reward equals big commitment. Perseverance, passion leads to productivity. Now, here's the vision. I started, I'm just hoping it's going to be easy sailing. But here is the reality. The reality is you start here and you go out and maybe you get a first couple customers. And then all of a sudden you go through a lull. And then maybe you go to an event that makes you feel better. And then you go through a real world. And then you decide, you know what, I'm just not going to do anything. And here is what the path to success really looks like. Right? And then eventually you start getting your mindset together, aligned with the right people, so that you have the vision, the passion, the perseverance in order to lead to the right amount of productivity. And the reason why I wanted to share this today is I know there are people out here last 
Saturday, I shared a video just feeling I had some a gal that called me that was suicidal and I reached out to her and, and you guys can go back into my feed on Facebook and see the song that I sang for her. And I realized after that, I started getting a lot of private messages of people who were really depressed, really down. Some that were going through horror, felt like their marriage was completely broken and could never be fixed. Some that had businesses that they just felt they needed to quit. And I want to encourage you today. No temptation has seized you except what is common. And here's what's cool if you are in alignment with God. God's a faithful God that when you are tempted to quit, he will show you a way of escape. He'll show you a way out. You've got to figure out why am I thinking the way I'm thinking and who do I need to be aligned with in order to increase my perseverance, my passion, and my productivity. Hey, 1010. See you out there. Rob Nance, love you. I hope you got, uh, we, I hope we sent your book in the mail. I did send that to my assistant and we're excited about that. Dee Dee, hope you're feeling better. Tony, Sean, hey you guys, all of y'all, excited that y'all are joining us. Um, make sure you share this. Here's what I want to say when it comes to perseverance, passion, and productivity is you have a choice. You know, you have a choice of whether you're going to put forth the work that it takes to build your empire. And other people may call you insane. How long have you been with that? Well, that's just insane. But you know what? Quitting will not get you there any faster. You're going to have to pay the price for success one way or the other. Why not pay the price, have perseverance, passion that leads to productivity? George Lucas wanted to become a race car driver. Ironically enough, it was an accident that kept him out of that. Star Wars, his first film actually was a complete dismal failure. Then Star Wars came out and was turned down by United Artists and Universal Studios. Now, that was a big mistake by a company. That was their failure, right? But imagine if he would have never kept going. Imagine if he would have quit. I think over and over with Larry and I, imagine if we wouldn't have said yes to ACN. Imagine if we wouldn't have built our team. Imagine if we didn't have Project 10, raising funds for the kingdom of God. Imagine if we didn't have, yes, our Young Entrepreneur Success Network. Imagine if we decided it's just too hard, it's too difficult. Well, you know what would happen is we would not be making life better for many. We'd be at a job. We'd be looking for how we could just do what's good for our family. Instead, we're building an empire, a revolution. We're building up and raising up kings, queens, and rulers of nations by helping people think differently, see differently, build differently, have better sales resources and skills. And for that, we're going to build a bigger legacy. I challenge you to do the same thing. I challenge you to say to yourself, Maybe there's more I can do in order to be successful. Maybe you haven't called everybody. Maybe you haven't talked to everyone you could. Maybe it's time that you get off the couch and make something happen. You know, guys, I love you. We're going to be back here same time next week with Warrior DNA live at 5. Tap in this week. I'm going to be sharing a number of cool videos from some of these very same people I've been quoting on how they had to have insane perseverance, passion, and productivity. Remember, now is the time. This is the place, and you are the one to make life better for many. God bless everyone. <laughs>